Good morning, champion. This is your wake-up call. Hi, I'm Skip J. Williams. Today's message is live your fantasy. When it comes to the word fantasy, we always hear people say things like, well, fantasies are unrealistic. Fantasies, you really can't live a fantasy. Well, actually, that's not true. Why? Because a fantasy is exactly what it says, meaning you can create your own fantasy. Why? Because a fantasy is exactly whatever you want it to be, meaning whatever you want to achieve, you can fantasize about it. You see, a lot of people go through life saying, well, I shouldn't fantasize about anything because they say it's not true. Well, actually, when it comes to a fantasy, we all have our own definition of a fantasy, meaning some people call their fantasy a dream. Some people call their fantasy vision. Some people call their fantasies goals. Some people call their fantasies ideas. You see, a lot of times we don't even think that way. We just go through life saying, well, they say I can't achieve my fantasy. Well, think differently. In other words, speaking of fantasy, I remember growing up, there was a, a cartoon called The Jetsons. Yeah, The Jetsons. The Jetsons was about a cartoon about futuristic cartoon, meaning they always have the best of everything on the Jetsons. Meaning, like for instance, you had the elevator that goes up into the house, it takes you from your car to your, your house inside your house. Like, wow, an elevator in the house? Then all of a sudden you see somebody on the Jetson with a little talk on a walkie talkie that's always talking to someone face to face. You're like, wow, that's crazy. That's interesting. Then all of a sudden on the Jetson, you see the father get off the elevator and all of a sudden you see him on a conveyor belt just going through the house, just cruising, just like that, just cruising. He's not walking. It's just on the conveyor belt and this conveyor belt is taking him through the house. You're like, well, that's that's just cartoons. Well, actually, that's not true. You see, that's a part of history that a lot of people are not even thinking about. Yes, that happened in the cartoon called the Jetsons, but in reality, it, it really exists. For instance, let's take it from the top, the elevator in the house. Well, nowadays, you will, if you go into a luxury home, you start seeing elevators in their homes. You're like, wow. Then all of a sudden, what about like when it comes to the, the, the cartoon, when they talk about face to face on, with somebody else on the, on the phone? Well, actually that does exist. You call, Apple has that feature on their phone called FaceTime. When you talk about the conveyor belt from the, the elevator, to throughout the house, would well, that really exist? We see that the conveyor belts all the time in the, uh, the airports. You see, th so they really exist. In other words, the fantasies that you're talking about that doesn't exist, really exist. In other words, whatever you want your fantasy to be, you can't create your own fantasy. But most of all, you always have to take action towards your fantasy. Why? Because that's how you make your fantasies come to fruition. In other words, your, your fantasies are there waiting for you, but you have to be more action oriented to make them become realistic. Today, take action towards your ideas, take action towards your dreams, take action towards your vision, take action towards your fantasy. Why? Because when you take action towards your fantasy, you will begin to live and enjoy your fantasy. Until tomorrow, this is Skip J. Williams saying, have an outstanding day.